In this video, we'll show you how to create and run a mapping in Cloud Data Integration. We want to send data from a recent marketing campaign to our sales team to help them target customers who are interested in our new product. We'll create a mapping that reads the marketing data in Salesforce, then moves it to the sales team's Amazon Redshift data warehouse. Then we'll create a mapping task to run the mapping. Let's get started. From the Data Integration Explore page, let's create a new mapping. In the Mapping Designer, we'll define the data flow logic. First, let's give the mapping a name. Now let's configure the source. We'll use a Salesforce connection. The data we want about sales leads is in a Salesforce object called Opportunity. So let's choose the Opportunity object. To sort the leads into separate tables for the sales team, we'll use a router transformation. To add the router, drag the transformation from the palette onto the mapping canvas. Let's create an output group for the open leads. We'll use the is closed field. If it's false, data integration will move the row to the open leads output group. Now let's create an output group for the closed leads. If the is closed field is true, data integration will move the row to the closed leads output group. The default group is already configured for us. If a row doesn't have a value for the is closed field, it'll move to the default group. Now let's configure the target transformations for each output group. The target transformations will write data to a specified table for each output group. First, configure the target transformation for the default group. Now select the Amazon Redshift connection. Tables for this product don't exist yet, so we'll create a new table at runtime and name the table unknown status. Note that when you configure a target transformation to create a table at runtime, data integration creates the table the first time you run the mapping. In subsequent runs, data integration updates the table that was created in the first run. Enter the Amazon Redshift bucket that will contain the new table. A bucket is just a container for objects. Now, configure the target transformations for the open leads table. First, drag a target transformation onto the mapping canvas. Then, give the transformation a name. Under the Target tab, we'll select the Amazon Redshift V2 connection. Then, select Create New Target at Runtime. Now, name the target, and we'll also enter our path. Enter the Amazon Redshift bucket that will contain the new table. Let's configure the target transformations for the closed leads table. But since these steps are so similar to what we just showed you, let's activate video warp speed. Now, let's save the mapping. Now let's create a mapping task to run our mapping. We'll name the task, select the runtime environment that will run the task, and select the mapping we just created. Optionally, you can schedule the mapping task to run on a regular basis. Let's save the mapping task and run it. You can see the job status on the My Jobs page. And that's it! In this video, we showed you how to use Cloud Data Integration 2, create a mapping to read Salesforce data and move the data to Amazon Redshift tables, and create and run a mapping task.